All right, so this time we talk about the possibilities on how to obtain your item all items. Um, yeah, okay. So these are pretty simple. We have a couple of instance dungeons. You can solo up to a certain degree. For example, um, this tower behind me um, is soloable at cap until the second boss with NPC armor. So, um, and if you kill the, the boss there, the first boss of the, I don't know, fifth floor, I don't know exactly, um, you get a box into your um, inventory for reward items. So, um, these can contain, well, everything you are seeing in our item mall. Literally everything. So you don't need to spend a single cent or penny or whatever you're, well, you know. Um, yeah. So, but these instances are, they are not the only way to obtain cash shop items. So, for example, um, you can farm in every abyss we offer you. And there too, you can drop everything. Inclusive the powder of harmony you need for combining items. Okay. Um, besides these possibilities, there you'll encounter some treasure treasure chests on your uh, way to cap, I guess. And every time you see one, open these. These can contain charms, twenty and fifty percent one, and they also contain money as I've shown before in a money-making video. And they can also contain an HP SP um, capacity extender. Um, yeah, all right. So, one last thing about this tower um, behind me. According to the floor, you just cleared, or if you clear the top, um, the reward will get better from boss stage to boss stage so in total if you will uh, make the frozen tower this is for instance his name behind me um, if you want to make it 100 person you'll have in the end four boxes of item all items you can open all of these and I guess you'll have plenty of item all items then um, and to that, um, I think we got like four or five item all instances. So these are all, um, you know, um, some are like good to make solo up to a certain degree. And for some, you need a group. So, yeah. This is everything on how you get item on items. Um, but now I have to, to, to say something about the skins. Um, weapon skins. So, we have tier 1 to tier 5 weapon skins. And of course, the item or variations of these. Um, and you can obtain the T1 and T2 ones in the Tower of Iso. The T3 skins you'll obtain in the Crystal Castle and Tier 4 in the Dragon's Tomb. And T5 can drop in here too. Or you're able to get these through events we are, we are making or whatever. Um, and in Kingdom Quests, you'll be able to obtain after every clear Kingdom Quest vouchers. And you can exchange these in every city on an NPC who's called Kingdom Quest Skin Exchange. Um, you can exchange these tickets against T1 and T2 skins. Or if you want, um, to, you can also exchange these to bracelets 
for level 10 up to level 90. Um, yeah, so that's it. This is on how you get your item or stuff.